Welcome! Today we want to see whether I will ever be replaced by a machine. So what is artificial intelligence? Create an artificial being has been the dream of man since the birth of science. So this science has a long story. Uh, it started in the 50s with Turing. There was a little bit of break in the 60s to the 90s with an AI winter when one was uh, discouraged. And, uh, but it came back with a vengeance and now it's everywhere. <clears throat> so the Turing t t test uh, uh, is, appears in many movies, uh, like in this uh, movie, The Machine from 2013. Uh, AI has many applications and uh, so there is no surprise that it's a big business. So essentially every big company uh, has an AI uh, uh, component. Uh, Microsoft, uh, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, Wolfram. So these are all AI companies. <clears throat> so in that movie AI 2001 from Spielberg, uh, this was obviously motivated by, by the search engine like Google. <clears throat> so what would it take to uh, build an artificial teacher, replace me? There are lots of components, one, but, but essentially everything has been already kind of worked on. And uh, for example, building slides. And uh, already ten years ago, there was a there was a, a company uh, which built Quickie, and you could actually just feed in some feed in some uh, topic and some pictures, and it will produce you slides. And these are the slides produced. Who was elected in the year two thousand seven? Harvard's history, influence, and wealth have made it one of the most prestigious universities in the world. It has the largest financial endowment of any school in the world. Etc. Etc. Uh, also, there are movies like this Sim One movie where an a a actor, one one thinks about kind of just how how it would be if actors would be replaced by uh, by a machine. <clears throat> this is a very nice movie, a recent movie, Ex Machina where uh, uh, some uh, interesting component ai component comes in some 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 randomness which which is which is needed uh, especially for creativity if you want to work a, build a worksheet or uh, uh, and then also have the solutions of the worksheet and then also grade it we need uh, we need some some insight and we need some we need some creativity and uh, i will actually show you uh, such a program which we have built uh, uh, actually this is not 2013 2003 2004 <laughs> earlier where uh, we have built such a such a such a program and uh, so there's also a lot of knowledge which had to be fed into the machine like here these are all this these entries are all still uh, on, on my website but one of the things one has to do is one has to build random functions Right, it's from from certain with a, with a certain complexity. So one has, for example, to take the, you know, can build the sine of the log of x, or the sine of the log of five x, and so on. So and then uh, one, one can build build problems like this. This is a worksheet which has been automatically generated. Also, the picture has been generated automatically. The text code has been pr produced automatically, and also the solution sheet has been produced automatically. So solving problems is an important part of uh, uh, artificial intelligence. And so for example, this problem is not an easy problem for humans also. So you see kind of two triangles which have which have the same area obviously because they have the same the same geometry but uh, also the individual components are the same but they they are they, you can translate them into each other but there's one one uh, one square uh, left. So here is an animation of this, uh, of this uh, conundrum, of this puzzle. Uh, also proofs, I will show you that more in detail in class, a proof that every triangle is equilateral. Uh, that is a, a convincing proof, but uh, for a machine, it's hard to see where the, where, the, where the error is, even for humans. Also part of uh, uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence would be to uh, take initiative, right, kind of have you know, pretty be, be become a become a become a leader, and in this case, the the machine actually takes over, takes over. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Movie from '68, so that's uh, 
quite amazing, quite amazing uh, movie from Stanley Kubrick. 2001 was then in, in, in the future. So let's just move on. In another uh, movie, Automata from 2014. Some movies have also the theme of, you know, can, can machines become human-like? Can they develop feelings like love? and uh, compassion and uh, understanding uh, understanding this is a, a, a really kind of a hardcore artificial intelligence problem as you show you some patterns and you have to figure out what the next uh, what the next pattern looks like so the first second pattern and the third pattern and the fourth pattern and the fifth pattern and so on and then you have to figure out what the next uh, what the next uh, what the next uh, what the next step is, <clears throat> what the next pattern would look like. So patterns uh, also appear differently. Pattern recognition. One of the things one has to do is, uh, is take a picture, take a, a scene, take a movie, and 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 find features, and then draw. Kind of, if you can draw the features, then you'll kind of really understand. We wrote once a program which, with uh, Jose, which built, uh, which draws. The, you know the contours of some of some of some pictures, and that's important also for uh, 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 for rec reconstruction of robotics. You want to uh, you want to understand when different frames of a movie how they cor correlate correlate to each other, and uh, so that's just a, a basic mathematical problem that you have something moving and you want to trace it over uh, uh, over different frames. And then draw the the paths, kind of see where 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 each each part has 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 gone. Now something a little bit different. I mean, artificial intelligence means that we we deal with computers, and uh, it started in the 1600s with a Schickard computer. Father of computer age was uh, Wilhelm Schickard, and uh, so but also many mathematicians were uh, building computers like Blaise Pascal or Leibniz, the found one of the founders of uh, calculus. Uh, built a step reckoner, uh, a, a polymath Babbage, Charles, Charles Babbage built a machine which is kind of a mechanical machine. There. And then also the programmers came for that. Uh, Ada Lovelace was one of the first programmers and then uh, then came also in the, during the war there was a lot of development here in Germany. Uh, the first programmer, freely programmer for computers, the Zuse Z1, the first Turing complete computer. Uh, mechanical computers and Mark One, you see, you know, from the Science Center down, which has now moved to Alston, unfortunately, but uh, uh, it was used in the war. Also, this computer, Colossus, was used uh, in the in in the war and ENIAC too, uh, for example, when uh, uh, study feasibility of atomic bombs. So and then came the computers, uh, kind of the more the consumer type computers. This is my kind of also a little bit the history of my uh, experience. The TI-59, this was as a teenager, I had and I built an interface uh, uh, for that, the joystick and the <laughs> could, could my, my, the lights could go on and off, just the calculator could do that. I had to do some surgery here. Uh, this was uh, my first PC, it was a, a 12 kilobyte, kilobyte ROM <laughs> machine, as you see me here uh, in 1980, and then I got an Atari in college. It was pretty nice to program also the next computer, which I then got was very nice. And here you see my computers in Texas, uh, uh, Apple and Dell and Sun and uh, Dell, different type of computers. Uh, or here, uh, then at Harvard 2002 with a, a Apple lamp and uh, another Linux machine. And then came the iPads 10 years ago and then the phones, of course, uh, they were even earlier. And then watches or so computers are now everywhere. Uh, the chronology is uh, interesting. It's an interesting history, and history is still written uh, written now. <clears throat> so this is a, a a book where search for certainty, where this uh, timeline appears. <laughs>